What's up guys, it's Bishop, uh, here with a Bishop's Life episode. Um, a lot of the questions that I get, I get a lot of messages a day, and uh, I get a lot of comments on my videos. Well, a lot of messages I get are, hey Bishop, uh, we know you're in college, um, you know, I start school next year, or I start school down the road. I was curious what um, what you eat at college, like what, what do you eat? Um, I've talked about ramen noodles or uh, Raymond noodles uh, before in some of my videos and some people are like, hey, is that all you eat in college? Like, I want to know more. And so uh, one specialty, I don't know if you guys saw the Bishop's Life episode called Eggs Done Right, where me and uh, Mike cooked eggs on a George Foreman grill. Well, something that I've been eating a whole lot is uh, basically eggs. But, um... Not just any kind of eggs, these are my specialty eggs, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see my shirt or not, but ladies, uh, for all those out there interested, anyway, uh, so yeah, so something I definitely like to cook, and I guess you can call me um, like a good cook, or a great one, um, is eggs, and I always get extra large eggs because those are the biggest. And right now they were on sale at the grocery store uh, I work at for a dollar. So uh, here we go. So basically you just start by cracking the eggs. I'm just going to teach you guys how to, how to cook this. Just slam the old eggs in there. Take the trash can. I'm just going to move this closer. If you just want to kind of focus on me, Mike, and the technique I use to crack these eggs and put them in there. And uh, I'm fixing this meal for both me and Mike. Uh, so we'll use probably all the eggs because uh, we like to eat a lot so um, that is what I'm doing and as I'm cracking these eggs you just kind of give it a little crack sores and then a little open you know like you're giving birth or something to the egg like um, yeah so as I'm cracking these eggs uh, something I wanted to just tell my YouTube uh, fans out there and subscribers is um, I notice a lot of times you guys comment on a video that, uh, like, not a personal message, but an actual comment. Um, like, I, I look, I always look at those, but I never really reply to those because, uh, you know, I don't want to sound like boastful. Like, I love all the uh, support. Like, hey, Bishop, great message or great verse. It's something I really needed to hear. Um, but I just want you guys to know that it's really not me. Um, it's really God through me. Um, something I live by, you know, Psalm 115.1, uh, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but your name be the glory for your love and faithfulness. So give all glory to God. I really appreciate all the uh, support that I do get on those messages, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if I don't reply like, hey, thanks for those encouraging words, um, that's just because I didn't, you know, I don't want to sound visible. Um But I always reply to every private message I get. Um, so feel free to keep sending me those, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Um, and so yeah, these are, I would just call these Bishop Eggs. And um, spring break, ladies, <laughs> is next week. And so I don't know what I'm doing, but I might travel to go see some of my YouTube fans. It's not set in stone, but I might do that. Um, so Mike, if you just kind of want to watch what I do, maybe step back to get the full uh, aspect of it. You put all the eggs in here. And then uh, we're going with scrambled style, so we're just going to mix these up um, nice and good right now. It takes a while to get kind of crack all these little, uh, is that a yolk? Is that what they call it? Yolks? Crack all these yolks? Okay. Uh, as we mix up this yolk here, uh, just the scripture verse comes to my mind. His yolk is easy, his burden is light. Um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, definitely glorifying God in all I do. So. Um, or trying to, you know, we all fall short, but, um, so yeah, I'm just mi mixing up these eggs here, and, uh, you know, just kind of cut the temperature <laughs> going on, um, just heating them up, and then, um, I'm going to mix a few other ingredients with them, and, uh, they're going to be, uh, awesome, um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the camera right now, record it, and then pick it back up to where, when the eggs are, uh, you know, a little harder. So, um, as you can see here, down here at the eggs, uh, they've definitely gotten like more um, of a solid than a liquid because they were in the previous state when you saw. 
Um, I kind of was texting a few people while I was making these, so um, unfortunately some of it got stuck to the bottom, which you don't want to do because it's a pain to clean up afterwards. Um, I think my mom's going to be proud of me for making eggs, you know? So uh, here it is. Basically, I'm just going to let them sit. It's pretty close. That's cool, I guess, because uh, you're not a film major. So Mike doesn't want the goodies mixed with his, um, but I, I always put uh, cheese and salsa in mine. Uh, but we're putting it on, um, you want the salsa, Mike? You want the cheese. Okay, so Mike can't talk tonight because uh, he's feeling a little sick. So we'll take um, a cheese and usually, we've put actually a full bag of this cheese in here before. Uh, is that good, Mike? Okay, so we'll put a little cheese on top um, and then we'll set the cheese aside if we want to add more later. Uh, and then what I do is I mix this cheese around. If you just want to kind of watch over here, Mike, and not get the brand of anything. And, um, you know, we just kind of mix the cheese in. Me and Mike like our eggs cheesy. Um, so at this point, when the eggs are kind of pretty much scrambled, you can turn it down a little bit um, just so it doesn't burn much anything. And, they, you know, just kind of relax for a minute. But you always got to keep them turning. You got to mix them up. I mean, look at that. That looks really good. That looks real good. So, um, I'm mixing it up. I'm going to make it a little bit more scrambled for my keep on cooking a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to add my uh, my secret salsa, is what I like to call it. And uh, these eggs are going to be awesome. So, uh, they're pretty much cooked, Mike. What do you say? I get your... Um, what, what I'll do now is I'll just kind of let them cook. If you just kind of want to follow me, kind of step back and kind of get the overview of what I'm about to do. Okay. Um, take this uh, flatbread, it's like a healthy grain type thing, just kind of lay it on a plate, <laughs> uh, and this is Mike's here, so I'm just going to get like a uh, scoop full of eggs, kind of hear the steam off of them, and just kind of set it in the middle of his flatbread and kind of mash it down, is that good Mike? Is that good, a little bit more? No? Okay. So, um, kind of make this a little, little lower because it's cooking. Well, basically, Mike, do you want any salt and pepper? <coughs> a little salt and pepper? Okay. <coughs> Why his is, uh, well, I'm going to make his, this is, in my opinion, the best salsa out there. It's old El Paso, fresh Mexican-style salsa, smooth pineapple chipotle. This is the awesome. So, I'm going to add that in. Just a little bit of that in there with my eggs. Mike didn't want any tonight due to heartburn. Um, then going to take the salt and pepper to add to his over here. A little bit of pepper and a <coughs> little bit of salt. And, um, and then I'm just going to kind of fold this up for him. And he's going to eat it. And that's his little burrito. Well, if you want to look over here at mine. Uh, remember the last time we saw this, I just added the salsa. I'm mixing it up. As you can see, getting the salsa nice and into it like that. As you can see, I turned down the heater a lot, so it's not really cooking, so the eggs don't get too burnt. Uh, I mean, we kept it on a little bit too much. Then we uh, got some eggs there on the stove. Very good. Oh, very good. Make sure you always turn the oven off. I'm going to get my plate, my flatbread, very good, it smells awesome, this is, this is, this is, this is how you live right here, this is awesome, we are so blessed, then I'm going to take mine with the salsa, oh, oh, alright, kind of set it in the middle, like I did with Mike's, going to add a little bit more, keep the rest of the eggs in there for any of the other guys that come home. If they cut, it's 2.30 in the morning, actually 3.30 because it's spring forward an hour. So, um, might keep the rest in there. Some of the other guys aren't in. And uh, so I'm going to let you guys see my reaction and then we're going to cut it off. So these are Bishop's eggs. Kind of folded up in a burrito form. Um, and then we're just going to go to town. So I'm going to get a little, say a little, ooh. Say a little prayer real quick. So, uh, God, please let this uh, meal nourish my body. Give me strength to do your will. And, uh, yeah, 
you're awesome. So, amen. So here we go. It's going to be hard to get it in. These these flatbreads are really big, and I don't want to get too messy on camera. So, mmm, that's good. Little eggs fell on the ground, but you know, you know, nothing that very good. Still, and some eggs fell out on the stove, and I don't like any food going to waste, so. It's good, so that's Bishop, um, and those are my eggs, so hope everybody's been doing well. Love you guys. Kiss the cook. I'm the cook. Kiss me.